Thank you so much, Amanda. So, all right, thank you, y'all. Thank you. Do I have some some words? So I want to be pussy start. So everything Amanda said about the studio and the access, all your participants, who do songs, who do if y'all artists, we opening the doors. It's not just a GDIU thing. You all are welcome. Just hit me up. Let's discuss it. We can arrange the time. We can use the studio. Let's do what we have to do. All right? Give me another round of applause. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jamila Rose. It's a pleasure to be here with The Village. I like to call myself the proud project baby with an MBA. I grew up in Linden Houses. I'm a positive product of my environment. And everywhere I go, I, I say that proudly. And some people would say, well, why are you always happy and repping that you're from the projects? Because that's where I'm from. And I'm happy to be from there. So in my 20 plus years, I've been an educator, a songwriter. I've worked with Armando. I've worked with Nikki, Cardi B, various people. Um, just standing here, and reflecting back on what Jimbo said and hearing the participants talk about when they first started, it almost, it almost brought me to tears because I remember when I first started my accessory line and I was meeting Olivia from Love and Hip Hop. So I'm gonna make this story very short because it's touching and it just reflects back on everybody in this room because we all have a story. You know, we all have walked the walk and we all have a journey and still on that journey because the purpose is never completely fulfilled. So I met with Olivia, she had calls, she saw my accessories and she wanted me to bring the accessories to her. So I immediately just had three, I was single mom, teenage mom, I had $300 left. I went and I bought all these things to make her the stuff that she requested. So I went in the cab because I didn't want to be late. She was very nice, humble. She took the stuff, took the pictures, but I didn't want any money. And I knew she wasn't going to get it at the time, right? So it was promo. It was marketing. And I had $2 left in my pocket, but I made a judgment call. I had to do that because my life depended on it, where I wanted to go in my future for me and my son. What I wanted to see prosper for me was important. So I took those $2. I bought myself, I think it was um, a coffee and a muffin, and I walked from downtown Brooklyn to East New York. Mm -hmm. But I, and I walked and I cried happy tears because I fulfilled something. And the next day, she wore the stuff, and I started getting phone calls after phone calls to where my stuff was featured in Sex in the City. So I say all that to say that we all have a story and we all have a purpose. And I think just hearing like the young people talk and us elders in the room, we are a reflection of each other. So I came all the way from Brooklyn and I'm gonna be here working with Guns Down Lifestyle because it's important. I also ran for city council in District 42. Um, and they were saying, well, she don't have no money. How she's gonna possibly run? I ran against an incumbent and somebody who got all the endorsements, but I ran grassroots door to door. I knocked on 10,000 doors three times. And I did that and I didn't win the seat, but I ran and I walked and I ran my marathon. So now I have my organization called Training Future Leaders where we have innovative programs. And how do we cure gun violence? By providing opportunities like this, job opportunities, education. Traditional education may not be for everyone. So we have vocation or have aviation, um, starting your beauty business, radio production where I'll be working hand in hand with Armando. And what does these things look like for our people, people of color, the people that are here around the room that reflect us? So I'm open to working with everyone. I believe that there is unity in the community. And the only thing that separates us is a degree, a degree of separation, that we can merge that gap. So I'm offering aviation, tech training, and you know, mentorship because i believe at any age the mentorship never stops so i want to say thank you to james to lynn everyone in the room who i've met you know during the course of my work um as well as the people i met today you know i pray that we continue to persevere i believe that god doesn't work by coincidence but by design so i appreciate you all thank you so much
Oh, you saw that? You saw that? Somebody left a phone or something? Somebody left two phones oh, in the bathroom. Oh, in the bathroom. Nobody's phone in here. Oh. Uh, so due to time.